Uh oh. Uh oh. I only have your glass. Where's your glass, man? It's probably in there. Can you go get it, please? Did you already hit record? We are recording. <laughs> All right, well, welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts, where Dustin forgets his glass and Keith's going to go get it. And we don't edit. And we don't edit. You'll get to see the bullshit that we do. You're welcome. So, uh, while he's getting my glass, we got another bourbon bribe from Stephen. Stephen had sent us... I think we've done this before, haven't we? We have. Boone County? We've, we've, we've done Boone County before. This and is Indiana, right? I can't remember. Nope. Um, it's Kentucky. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I think I recall it being good. Well, it's minimum aged five years. So Always helps. That helps, yeah. A little, yeah. It's a little light, though, for five years. I think we had that same observation last time. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's kind of interesting. So as an experiment for you guys, when we do the same bottle um, more than once, go back and check our previous uh, review of it, and you'll probably find differences. And very, very likely, because of our palates changing with time and what we've eaten. What we've eaten recently, we've learned that what you eat um, a day or even two days before you uh, start drinking whiskey can radically affect the flavor profile. You want to tell them how they can figure that out? Well, I mean, I can think of a few ways. I mean, eat something sweet and well, then no, drink no, no, a bourbon no. or what? No, how they can go find the other review of this. Oh, um, I guess they'd have to go to our channel and just type, scroll through. Type So you go to our channel, you type in Bourbon Country Reacts, and then you put, you just like, the next thing you say is Boone County, it should, and it'll show you the multiple of the Boone County that we have. Yeah, it should pop up. Yeah. So, um... Stephen has requested a tune with this one. It's an artist I've never heard of, Blackhawk. And the song is Goodbye Says It All. Okay. And I, I heard Blackhawk, and for a second, my mind kind of flashed to Blackfoot. And I was like, oh, we're getting some sick Southern rock, man. Uh, wouldn't be country, but it is sick Southern rock. Um, but that is not Blackfoot, it is Blackhawk. I think he's Indian. I don't know. You mean Steven? No, Blackhawk. Maybe it's the helicopter. It could be. During the chorus, I'm hearing a cool guitar technique. Yeah. So if you kind of picture a guitar and you've got the bridge where your right Strumming. hand plays down here, and yeah. you've got the bridge up here where the you know lowest note on a string is, there's a technique that you can use with your right hand where you pick the strings like this close to this back bridge and it kind of gives you this tinny playing in a tin can sound. Yeah. And uh, I've always kind of loved that technique when you use it sparingly and in the right places. Uh, Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here 
they do that. That tinny far away bump bum, 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 down. Mm, that, yeah. That's how they're yeah. getting that sound. Okay. And there's a, there's some of this in here, and I think it's being used in the right ways in the right places, and I'm I'm kind of appropriately. I'm kind of enjoying the subtle guitar work on this. It's not like any master class stuff, but uh, it's just just sounds good. Plus, I'm kind of loving that this cheating douche is getting. This is a good. This is a good. A good this is a good breakup song. Yeah, yeah well, well, especially if yeah, right. he's a cheating douche. Cheating douche. Douche. Yeah. Douchebag got what he deserved. Yeah. She was smart about it. Yep. Just, all right, Tim. Goodbye. Peace out and taking your Rolex and drilling a hole in your bowling ball. I don't. Eat a bag of dicks. I'm out. I, I don't know that the property damage is a great idea. <laughs> well, but I mean, that's one way. <laughs> right? Right. I probably should not be advocating for property damage. That could end poorly. Selling the guy's boat. That's that might kinda, be a... If she has the right to do that, that's kind of funny. she's on the title. Exactly. Well, she still couldn't do without his signature. Maybe it's her boat. There you go. Hopefully it's her boat. Yeah. Get the fuck off my boat. I, I can't remember. It's It happened uh, 20 years ago. But uh, some British woman was selling like... I think I heard about this. Like a Porsche Carrera GT or something for a dollar. One dollar. Or one pound, a British pound. And everybody thought the ad was fake. And some dude shows up with a pound and she signed a title over to him. Turned out her husband had been cheating. The car was in her name. <laughs> she sold this, sold this Carrera GT. And that dude had a great day. The he's one that probably, got it from her for a pound. He's probably still having a great day, given the I think Grand Mary Hall performance just sold one for like one point three million. So, yeah. Hey, if you're going going fuck around, sometimes you find, find out. out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, um, this is about as I remember it, right? It's just it's not bad. It's kind of. Um, it's good. It's not complex. Not at all. That's your... it's smooth. Yep. It's corn sweet with some bitter oak. It finishes with oak bitters. Yeah. 
It's basic bourbon. That's that's what I was gonna say, but I didn't want to say it because uh, it's basic bourbon. It's basic but bourbon. I say it too much, and I don't mean that as a pejorative. I'm not, you know, like I'm not calling it's it a basic, basic white girl. Yeah. You know, it's not meant as a pejorative. Uh, no basic white girls watch our channel, so there's nobody that can be offended by that. Joanna had her basic white girl going on the other day. What? Yeah. Nuh uh. Swear to God. What happened? So she had on like the beanie hat. Like a North Face? Something something like that. <laughs> white down coat. Like vest. Okay. Okay. No, like a puffy vest? But yeah, down? yeah, yeah. Okay. The pu- white puffy vest. Okay. I think black leggings and Uggs. Oh my God. What is Carmel doing to her, man? Well, what was funny is she looked cute as a freaking button and I couldn't help myself. Did you call her a basic white girl? I did. Oh, and I lived through it. I don't know surprising. how. I don't know how. That is surprising. But I did live through it. Don't do it again. I, I think she thought it was funny. Okay, well, <laughs> so, she got a laugh out of it. Yeah. I wouldn't do it twice. No, I won't be doing that again. She was cute as a button, but I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> a basic white girl. That's all right, man. I'm a basic white girl too. I like pumpkin spice lattes. Sue me. What? I'm just going to drink my bourbon and not say or <laughs> You do you, boo. I am what I am. She's so, a basic white girl. I'm That's a basic you, white so girl, apparently. So, so what are your pronouns? Oh, we've been over this. <laughs> uh Not if you're a basic white girl. Chunka chunka, boom, no, and kaboom. That's Abrams tank. Yes. Yeah, you're not. A, Those you're, are my pronouns. You're a basic, basic white girl. You got to change your pronouns. To like, oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, I can be on that. All right. Those are my pronouns. All right. That's. I mean, it's pretty. It's. I enjoyed that it's song. It's a decent bourbon. If you paid Good under bourbon. thirty dollars for this, thirty under thirty five dollars for this, it's worth it. Super drinkable. Um, <laughs> 35, I may go as high. No, 35. Yeah. Here's the thing that, and I think we, I feel like we've said this before. The five year thing is kind of throwing me. It does not taste like it has enough oak in it to have been aged five years. It really doesn't. Right. But they didn't get in a lot of trouble for misrepresenting that. So that's true. That's true. It's out of Kentucky too. Hmm. So. Maybe it's a bottom of the Rick House aging. Maybe. Where you're not getting a lot of heat pushing it in and out of the wood. Yeah. Um, That's possible. It's, it's possible. We're, we are proud to partner with the Cincinnati Reds. Okay. I don't know why. When was the last time they won anything? Like the 80s? I don't know. I haven't watched baseball since first strike. Yeah. I get that. First player strike, I quit watching. You're like, all right, I'm done. Yeah. All y'all make a couple hundred grand a year and you're walking off the... Nah. Nah. (laughs) All right. You got anything else to say? I don't think so. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give us a like. Uh, Go ahead and subscribe. Drop down in the comments. Tell us what uh, country songs we need to check out. Tell us what North American whiskeys we need to try. Yeah. Till next time, guys. See you.